While technology has been transforming the healthcare system for years, but in 2020, this need for transformation has accelerated. While doc.com is an online platform that allows patients to consult doctors and also receive advice, referrals, and even prescriptions. The platform's available in 24 countries in the Americas and is expanding into Europe, Africa, and Asia. So I have Charles Nader here now as the founder. Charles, it's great to have you on the line. How are you today? Doing great, Jessica. Thank you so much. Um, pleasure to be on with you. It's great to talk to you too, and I'm really glad that we have the opportunity to catch up. And I'm going to pick your brains a little bit about the work that you're you're doing. So, Doc.com, just to uh, kind of clarify, it's an online platform that pays users in cryptocurrency. I'd love to ask, what has been some of the biggest challenges when it comes to really incentivizing people that may not already be aware of crypto? Well, uh, cryptocurrencies and just anything blockchain related, it, you have to think about it as it's, it's a technology. So if you, it has benefits that, to, that we never had before, and eventually it'll be used. You know, it's like the, init, the, the start of the internet. When the internet started, it, it lasted for years. It, it, it existed for years, but there was a killer app that made everyone go mainstream with the internet, and that killer app was email. So kind of the same thing is happening with in the blockchain space. Um, we think that the best onboarding method uh, to the cryptocurrency world or blockchain world is through services that people truly need and use. In our case, we think uh, healthcare is the best way to onboard people into cryptocurrencies because really blockchain technology in general is a great additional component to many industries, not only healthcare. So. I think it's going to permeate through many industries as it already is right now. You know, so we think in healthcare, the, the best method to onboard people is to giving our medical services and using our blockchain uh, data model for data management and uh, rewarding users with cryptocurrency. So that's that's the best onboarding method. And there's two really strong points there that I think users have to take away. It's kind of data protection from the blockchain element, and then also that incentivizing of new users as well. And a healthcare online digital system in 2020 seems like a no-brainer of an interesting uh, kind of career model. So when it comes to adoption targets, because I'm sure that obviously no one expected 2020 to pan out the way it has, but you do have an adoption target. I think it's 1 million users by the end of, of 2021. So how are you really expecting to expand into new regions, new horizons uh, in the next few months? Well, we, we have uh, contracts with clients in multiple countries that are allowing us to expand more rapidly and access more users. Um, for example, in the US, uh, our, our biggest client has 21 million users. So it's, it's, um, it's really, it's just a matter of time when you convert people into healthcare services and then consequently into the blockchain world uh, with our model. So that's how we are planning to expand more rapidly now. We have we have opportunities in Asia and in the Middle East and Europe that we want to take advantage of, but they're clients, they're clients that want our services aggregated onto what they currently do. So our service is extremely easy to use. It helps a lot of people and it's our main focus on what we do, it's our main priority, but it's a great complement to other services that already exist. And that's been our strategy to expand. Amazing. And you gave a very interesting analogy earlier, which was the, the internet and, and email use uh, back in the kind of late 90s. So if we compare kind of this newcomer uh, onboarding, uh, have there been any struggles or challenges with maybe getting people uh, of different regions and different age demographics to really come more familiar with this technology? Well, for starters, you always have to explain to people what blockchain is. Mo most people, if you ask anyone you know, on the street, uh, most people don't understand what blockchain technology is. And if you tell them telemedicine, which is, you know, we offer services with doctors and psychologists, um, a lot of people have different ideas of what telemedicine is also. So you have that learning curve uh, that happens in technology always, you know, with new technologies, you always have that learning curve. You have the early adopters, then, you know, more people, and then it goes mainstream and it has a it curves up, it grows exponentially. So I think telemedicine in general is still in that early phase. Blockchain technology is still in that early phase. We have to deal with both, but the best way to deal with it is making a very compelling product. You know, if with us, literally there's nothing easier to access a doctor 
or a psychologist, you just open up the app and press a button. There's there's no forms or, or questionnaires to fill out. It's extremely simplified. And that's what it comes down to. You know, the reason people switch to new services, it's because, you know, it's it's not a little bit better. It's a lot better than it currently existed. So that's what we focus on. We focused on really our users, our patients, to make it extremely easy for them to speak to a doctor or psychologist face to face through video chat or um, and also be participate in the blockchain crypto economy. You know, so it just has to be simplified the most way possible. Would you like to see a demonstration? I would love to see a demonstration. Okay. So I'm just going to show you real quick. The you all you do is open our app. There's two buttons, one on top to speak to doctors, one on the bottom to speak to psychologists. You press the button and right now it's going to connect us uh, through video chat with one of our doctors. There you go. So almost instant last seconds. You just click start, shows the doctor's name and we are now live there. Hola, bienvenida a Doctor Com. Soy la doctora Medina. Soy con Charles Nader. Gracias, doctora. Hola, Charles. Hola. Estás? Bien, gracias. Gracias. Te agradezco. Bye, bye. Hasta luego. Buen día. Right. So, as you saw, that's extremely easy to use. Um, you can rate at the end as a comment box. The balance of the rewards is very simplified. Um, it's just it shows you how much you get, but it's only you only get rewarded if you have a full consultation, a full medical assistance or psychological assistance, which means we we did a, a, a full epidemiological uh, capture of, of data. And, um, you know, that's that's what our focus is. You know, we're a healthcare analytics company and it's uh, it's a very innovative model because no one really pays you for your for your information, which you're generating anyways. You know? And. An element of this that really stood out for me as something which is quite interesting is uh, in certain regions of the world, and the Americas uh, is somewhere particularly where, as a European, I really regard the American healthcare system as being very highly priced and almost unaffordable to, to a large majority or, or, or group of people. So the fact there is a reward system there for people kind of carrying out these consultations online, it seems to have a real paradigm shift to what typically people were used to or associated with, with that region. Just to get a little bit more context there, so the reward system uh, is paid in cryptocurrency, but for people that maybe can't even comprehend a reward system for something like this, which is beneficial to them, where does this uh, crypto tokens come from? How do, how do the rewards actually come into fruition? Um, the, the cryptocurrency, we created the blockchain ecosystem. Uh, originally, we were using Ethereum to hash. The objective is to hash every time someone uses our services, so it's publicly verifiable. And we also want to hash the data that's being uh, compiled during the medical assistance or the psychological assistance. So it, this is in order to offer transparency and trust as to our services and the transparency and trust in, in the use of data, right? So since we're a scientific company, we base our, we're, we do analytics, epidemiological analytics on, on uh, you know, the, our user base, um, and that's very important for public health reasons, but at, it adds another layer of relevance, scientifically speaking, if you have this blockchain component, uh, because it offers another layer of trust and transparency. And that's really an innovation uh, that hasn't existed. Now, the beautiful aspect of that is you can also do it simultaneously, reward someone with a cryptocurrency because it, it's running in the same system. Now, that cryptocurrency, Originally, ours is an ERC-20 token, which is an Ethereum token. Now we're, we're switching to our own blockchain uh, called the LifeChain. Um, but it's, it functions in an automated fashion. It's uh, designed really to provide additional trust and transparency. We think that that's really the benefit of blockchain technology, uh, and especially with you know, services that are so sensitive uh, like healthcare services. So. It's, uh, you know, we created the token, we created the whole utility for it in, in the actual use case uh, with our services. And we just thought it was a excellent innovation in, to improve our services in general. Uh, well, it was certainly a pleasure to hear a little bit more about it from you and hear some of your thought processes when it comes to moving forward. Thank you so much for your insights today, Charles. It was an absolute pleasure to hear more about Dot.com. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Much, well, that's all for myself and Charles, but we'd love to hear how you found this segment. So drop a comment in the comment box on YouTube or AIBC Summit.